The worst fears of Gazans are coming true. Israel is pounding the southern end of Gaza Strip, which it considers the last stronghold of Hamas. Fighting is going on in northern and central Gaza. Hamas says death toll has risen to over 35,000 and over 57 deaths have been reported in the past 24 hours. Despite the United States' warning against an all-out assault on Rafah, Israel has sent tanks and troops in the east of the town. However, it says it is carrying out precision operation right aimed to minimize civilian casualties. Evacuation orders have been issued and this has led to an exodus of people. Targeted strikes are taking place in Rafah. Israel says in order to defeat Hamas, they need to wipe out militants from southernmost city. Now, according to United Nations, about 360,000 have fled Rafah since Israel issued evacuation orders a week ago. Rafah holds about 1.4 million Gazans, while fighting is going on in northern Gaza as well. I was first displaced from the north, from Beit Hanun. We were displaced to Jabalia camp and then we were displaced to Rafa. And unfortunately, we are experiencing a new displacement. But this time, it is very different because we are here. We do not know how to leave. In northern Gaza's Jabalia camp and Gaza City's Zaytun neighborhood, they've come under repeated strikes. Tanks have rolled in the center of the camp and airstrikes have destroyed clusters of houses. Intense fighting is forcing people to flee their homes as Israeli troops try to recapture an area where Hamas militants have regrouped. Believe me, it is from death to death and from hunger to hunger. Even if we move, we will not find a place to stay in. We are leaving, but we do not have a place to stay. We don't know, should we sleep on the street, sleep on the beach? We don't know what will happen to us. The condition is now turning from bad to worse. Continuous fighting is hindering aid delivery to those in need. Gaza's health authority has appealed for aid and medical supplies to be allowed in through the southern border. Authorities have warned that the medical system is on the verge of collapse due to shortage of fuel. But Israel remains committed to destroying the Palestinian militant group. As the country marked Memorial Day, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to emerge victorious against Hamas and bring back all the hostages. Out of 250 hostages taken by Hamas on October 7th last year, over 100 still remain in Gaza. We are not forgetting about the hostages even for a moment. We are working tirelessly to bring all of them back, whether they are alive or dead. Half of them have already been returned and we will continue our efforts until every single one of them is safely home. While the Prime Minister vowed to eradicate Hamas, now Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan claims more than a thousand members of the Palestinian militant group Hamas are being treated in Turkish hospitals. Erdogan, a vocal critic of Israel's war in the Palestinian territory following Hamas's attacks on October 7th, made the announcement to reporters adding that he considered Hamas a resistant organization. Okay, For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.